Hey, what's up guys? I'm from BSC Tech. Today's video is about uh, smart plugs. And uh, in today's particular video, we have a TCP smart uh, power plug, which is uh, a standard 13 uh, amps max. And uh, just like uh, other smart plugs, uh, this does the same job. Uh, the, the reason why we are making this video so you can follow these steps in order to activate and connect this with your Android or iPhone devices. So it's a relatively straightforward and simple process. Uh, a couple of things uh, we need to know before we start the process. The first and the most important thing, uh, these plugs, 95% uh, uh, of them or 98% of them, majority of them basically, they support Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz. So if you are on Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz, uh, you need to revert back to Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz. And uh, this also goes for uh, most of the uh, Wi-Fi cameras, uh, the CCTV cameras and other devices. <clears throat> so let's start the process. Uh, here we have this plug, as you can see on my screen. And uh, it's, uh, this was sitting around for some time. So I just thought, uh, let's make this video because I took good 10, 15 minutes to work out why this was not connecting and uh, there was an issue. First one, uh, as I said earlier, I changed the network from five gigahertz to 2.4 gigahertz. I've seen a lot of comments on YouTube and uh, other social media platforms that it's not connecting, it's not connecting. So the first thing uh, we'll do is we'll go on uh, the app store and we will download the app. Obviously, if you have a different smart plug, you can uh, use that. And uh, then you need to sign in using your username and password. And after that, you need to connect this with the mains like this. So here you can see we have uh, the power button and uh, this blue light on the top. Once you are on this section, click on add device, then go into the power section. I'll do that again, add device. And since we have the power plug, we'll go inside the power section. And uh, this one is listed on the top, as you can see on my screen. So here you have to enter your password and click next. And then the next phase will start. Obviously, uh, you have to put this into pairing mode. So there are a couple of options available on the app. You need to make sure that uh, this blue light is constantly flashing. There are three options, flat or stable light. Then it will start flashing uh, twice a second and then it will start flashing uh, once a second. That means that it's in the reset mode. But in the pairing mode, it should start flashing for twice a second. So it has to flash twice in a second. So in order to put this device into pairing mode, we need to hold this uh, button for a good 10 seconds. As you can see that uh, the light has changed and it's now flashing. So it's beeping actually. That's uh, a two count per second. Now we will uh, confirm on the app. As you can see on my screen, the indicator is blinking fast. Skip the reset button. The reset uh, instructions are also on the screen. And then we will wait for the app to detect the switch. It shouldn't take long. It's ticking. As you can see, there are some noises every five to 10 seconds. So we'll give it a go and wait for a few seconds. And there you go. It's now been detected by the app and we'll click on done. And uh, now it's time to plug in this wireless charger or any other appliances. Obviously I'm connecting this uh, for a reason. So you can see the video that this is working absolutely fine. So at the moment it's basically plugged in and uh, it's green which means it's turned on 
so start charging now what we are going to do is we are going to stop this so it will stop charging and it will disable this uh, wireless uh, desktop charger there you go switch off so this turns off as soon as we hit the power button again then it will basically start the process now we have timer and schedule obviously you can go through that that's uh, straightforward i'm not going into that but uh, this is how you can uh, connect your tcp smart plug or any other smart plug which you have and uh, you want to use for your smart plunges remember this also works with alexa and uh, obviously other google devices so that's it for today's video guys if you have any question or feedback do let me know in the comment section below and also don't forget to hit subscribe and follow the channel for upcoming videos take care bye bye